Okay, ready, Bo? You want to go fly? You want a treat? One, two, three, go, Boogie! Good boy. What's up, everyone? It's Bogey and Emily, and today we are in the kitchen. And we're in the kitchen because this is where Bogey and I like to do our little flight exercises. I usually ask Bogey if he's ready to fly, and I, I count him off one, two, three. He goes, he flies all the way around and comes back. So it doesn't look like he really wants to fly right now. We actually did a few flights earlier, and he looks a little tuckered out and relaxed, which is a good thing. Bogey really enjoys just getting his zoomies out. They're like bird zoomies. So we pretty much fly him around the house every day. Um, but grant you, we do this because he is willing and he wants to. We're gonna get into the whole permission-based aspect of flying in a little bit. But today we're gonna go over my six tips to help you and your bird start flying a bit more. Also, if you think I sound breathless, it's because I'm nine months pregnant and I can barely talk without having to gasp for air. So bear with me there. Little backstory on Bogey. When I got him, he was clipped. He was clipped for, I wanna say maybe about a year after I got him because I thought that that was the safest way to have a pet bird. Definitely couldn't be further from the truth. Um, I'm a very big proponent of flighted, flighted birds, but he's been a little aggressive on camera lately, so I'm a bit nervous. I'm gonna put him over on the sink. I believe that that's their natural ability that they need to explore, and it just helps them mentally, physically, overall, just be a happier bird. However, there is training that is required, and I think it's a misconception that people believe that you know, their bird should be an expert on flight right off the bat. That's not the case. So step number one is to bird proof your house. You may be new at flying or you may be like, hey, I my bird flies, but I want some tips and tricks to like clean up how we fly around the house. So by bird proofing the house, I'm just saying you wanna be in a nice controlled environment. You don't want dogs and kids running around. You, you just want it to be an environment where your bird can focus and be safe. You also wanna make sure that fans are turned off, that's huge. Unfortunately, I've seen a lot of injuries due to fans, and if your bird's completely new at flying and you wanna like take a crack at it, I would recommend walking around the house and tapping on all the windows and showing them that it's a solid object. It's not something that they could fly into. Bogey has flown into a few windows in his day, and it's not good. Birds have sustained really bad injuries from flying into windows, so, if there's any way that you can kind of block the window with a blanket or, I mean, I have blinds which help, that's great. If you don't, just we're gonna take everything really slowly, step by step. Step number two is about our expectations. I love to talk about expectations because I think that too high of expectations leads to disappointment in the owner, which then leads to behavioral issues with the bird because there's this huge communicative disconnect so my mission is to share about what expectations we should have. So if your bird is not, or was clipped, I should say, then don't expect your bird to be the expert flyer right off the bat. Flying is actually a skill that they have to learn and it can take quite a bit of time, especially if, you know, we gotta look at, I should say, your bird's history, its body composition, um, species, age, weight, like there's so many factors that can contribute to your bird being a successful flyer. I know some birds that don't wanna fly because they were shoved in a cage their whole life and it's, it's a little bit too far gone. Forcing the bird to do it is not the answer. Bogey loves to fly, I think he just has so much energy. It's such a great thing that he can do to just get all of the zoomies out and um, and it's just like a fun activity that we like to do, do together. So when he's out of the cage, you know, we kind of have like this system. Let's see if he wants to go. Ready? One, two, three, go. Good bird, good boy. I get you a treat. So the third tip that I have for you is to start small. So if your bird has never flown before, what we did was I actually put two chairs up, I made sure they're stable, that's another tip I'm gonna get into, and I just had Bogey hop from one chair to the other. This video isn't really about how to teach you how to recall train, I'll make another video on that, but we just wanna start small. That is 
the takeaway for point number three. Again, like tuning our expectations to what really will benefit the bird rather than like what we want as the bird owner. So we wanna use stable perches. Um, I like to have my hand out flat like this. Depending on what your bird prefers, maybe they would like this type of hand structure for them to land on. Again, if you're using a perch, make sure it's not a wobbly perch. I would recommend even using the back of a chair that's very solid and firm rather than a rickety perch you got on Amazon. Um, because in these first pivotal moments of teaching your bird how to fly, we just wanna make sure that they're confident and that they land on something that's not gonna wiggle them off. Every moment is a training moment for parrots and what we as owners can accidentally do is accidentally punish a certain behavior. So if they are constantly landing on a rickety perch and that really scares them, that's gonna over time teach them, okay, this activity is dangerous, I don't feel safe, I don't like it. And it can hinder progress, which is what we do not want. Okay, number five. So once we get into the flying, whether it's big boomerang flights or just small little hops from the perch to the hand, or from chair to chair, we wanna make sure that when you offer the bird a treat, that you fully let your bird eat the treat before you begin the next session of flying. And again, this kind of goes along the lines of what I was saying last. We don't wanna accidentally punish the bird. So if we're rushing the bird and they're trying to eat, this can be taken as some sort of level of punishment, which again, we don't want. That's a pretty simple tip. Let your bird eat, let your bird be comfortable. And then the sixth tip, my favorite tip is, how we're going to use permission-based training techniques to encourage your bird to fly. I love permission-based training, choice-based training. It's really great. We want to let our birds choose when they want to go fly. After all, flight is about freedom, right? That's what everyone claims on social media. But what I see are people throwing their birds and making them fly. And it's like, okay, I thought this was about freedom. Shouldn't we let the bird kind of control whether he or she wants to fly. Forcing your bird to fly is not the answer. Permission-based training, great. So what I do with Bogey, and you probably saw it earlier, is that I have pretty strong cues for him, so he understands we just have like this really good flow. And I notice that when other people try to fly Bogey, like my mother-in-law or my mom, Bogey seems like a little confused and shy around them because they don't quite understand our flow. So what I do is I say, Bogey, you wanna fly? And I say one, two, three, and I can actually feel if his feet are like loosening and he wants to go. Other times he'll clench on and he won't wanna fly and I don't force him to fly. That's a big one for me. Don't force your bird to fly, don't chuck the bird. If the bird seems like he doesn't wanna fly, maybe he's tired of flying, maybe, he sees something that scares him. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube videos. By watching our videos, you directly support Bogey and I, which we greatly appreciate. If you wanna see even more content bird related, please be sure to check out our website, nerdybirdcollective.com, where we have free guides. You can subscribe and get updates through blogs. You can also reach me directly on our Instagram, which is Bogey the Galah. I personally reach out to everyone who messages me with a response in a timely fashion. Thanks again and hope to see you soon.